Greetings YouTube. Good evening or not good evening. Good afternoon to you guys. I'm going to um for this video, I'm going to share with you guys um on maintaining your activities uh on a daily basis. I'm going to basically just show you guys what you need to do when you are working on your languages, okay? Um this is very important. Very very important. I can't turn the camera. They ain't going to let me turn the camera. Up. Let me see. Well, let me know. So, this is very this is very important. Okay? Um, you see this behind me? These are schedules. Okay, I'm doing Finnish and Polish at the same time. Right? And today is my Polish immersion day. So what am I doing? Let's go over here to this Polish list. What you need to do is something like this. Make sure you guys see this clearly. So, as you can see, this says Polish regiment. I have several things on there that I do on a daily basis. Now, I talked about these in the past. This is stuff that I do when I practice the languages. I have podcasts, the first thing. There's podcasts. You have YouTube videos. You have writing exercises, hello talk, chatting. Then meet with the, meet with the partner on Skype and then reading. Okay, now I'll go back up to the top. These are all the things that I do that I'm go, I'll be doing on my immersion days. Okay. And it's just like working out. You need to make sure when you do that, you need to put a check mark or an X next to everything that you do to ensure that you got that stuff in and um, you'll be good for that day. And you can just relax and then just, and, you know, wait until tomorrow and do it again. So let's go to my list, back up to my list here. So basically for my podcast, when I wake up in the morning, I play my SBS radio and those um, those episodes aren't really that long. Some of them can be like 10 minutes, but on average, they are like between five and eight minutes. I listen to that. Once I listen to that, sometimes I listen to a couple of them. I'll put an X or check mark next to this. I don't have any X or check marks now because I just made this list. I said, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and make a, because uh, I already know what I need to do on a daily basis. Okay. But we all need schedules so we won't get sidetracked because life happens. So podcast i do that and then my youtube videos what i watch on youtube i watch my cartoon videos i watch the numbers days of the weeks just they got a lot of useful content on youtube on youtube for free so i watch all those videos when i finish watching those videos i'll put an x you know is or do something to let me know that i finished that for the day the next thing will be my writing exercises now Many of you know that I do these every week. Basically, I use, um, I'll show you. <clears throat> Check this out. My for Aussie Mill. I hope you guys can see that. These are my Aussie, these are my Aussie Mill writing exercises. Okay. I do these every week. Every single week. Okay. This is for Polish and Finnish. All right. Once I do that. Then again, I put an X or a check mark here. Just let me know that I finished that for today and I move on to the next one. Now, keep in mind, you don't this don't have to be a consecutive two, three hours. You can break up the time. OK, the point is, the point of doing this is just to make sure that you getting everything in and you're not skipping anything. OK, you got to work on all everything. You got to work on the, all the parts of the body. OK, we exercise in here. It's the same concept. Hello Talk. Now, you, I talked about Hello Talk and chatting. You need to go somewhere and use that language. Try to practice the stuff that you've been learning. That's very important. That's part of my method. Okay. You can go level up, do whatever you need, but you need to make sure that you have some, there's some way that you practice in that language actively and orally. Okay. Um, well, chatting, you're not really doing orally unless you send voice messages, but you, you guys know what I'm saying. OK, so I use Hello Talk. They have other uh, platforms you can use. They have shared lingo. They have you know all these. But Hello Talk for me, that's what I use mostly. All right. Then I have uh, meet with the partner on Skype. Meet with the partner on Skype. So basically, I have a partner for both languages for um, Polish and Finnish. And I meet with like for like I told you, today is my immersion day for Polish. But it doesn't mean I'm not doing any Finnish. That just means that I'm not worried. This these exercises, that means I'm not worried about finish right now because today is today is today, today, yeah, today, today isn't an immersion day for finish. It's just Polish. So I this is this this stuff is for my immersion day. Okay. So 
um, what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. Just because I'm not doing that stuff for finish, I still meet with my partner. I got to meet him today and practice finish. All right. That's every day. I do that for both of these languages. Every day I meet with my name. Well, well, almost every day now on the weekends, but at least Monday to Friday, I meet with them to practice the language. And then at the you see reading now this is this is this is the keep in mind this isn't in any particular order you can do whatever you want at first and do last this isn't in any particular order i just wrote it like that just when i was making the list my reading stuff i talked about that basically my kids book i'm gonna show you i have my um let me show you the stuff that i have i'll just grab things that i got i got this polish children's picture dictionary i look through that i may not go through the whole book you know, I look at that, just go through it, you know, do that. Then I have uh, have this. This is my Polish reader. OK, and this Polish reader is pretty good. I spend uh, this has several chapters. I normally spend a week on it on this on the same chapter, read the stuff over and over again. And then once I. Um, once I once once I'm done doing that, I'll the next week I'll move on to the next chapter. That's just what I like to do. Some people may say it's too long, but I like doing that for a very long time. It's a lot of repetition. But I had another book somewhere. I have a uh, I got stuff all over the place. Oh, here it is. And this is one of my children's books. I have another book somewhere laying around here, and it's pretty thin, so I can actually read this whole book, and it's bilingual. OK, I read this whole book. Once I finish all my readings, my reading exercise, what I need to do, then I mark that off and reading. And even I'm doing the FLR stuff, too. I forgot to mention that that stuff, you know, that's part of listening and that's part of the reading as well. I go through like, for example, when I meet with my partners, we basically just doing FLR stuff. That's all we doing. The sentences and whatnot. So if we own the first two parts, I just make sure I go through that material before I meet with my partner. So, you know, f f uh, familiarize myself. And also, I like to use that in Hello Talk and, you know, in the chatting, in the chat rooms and stuff. So, like I said, your schedule doesn't have to be exactly like mine. And this is not I mean, this is not in any particular order. But you need to have something to track your uh, activities daily so you won't forget to do anything. Once you ch once you have checked everything on this list and X'd out. You can just relax and say, OK, I'm going to have to do, I'll do it again tomorrow. I'll do it again the next day. Do it again. You just keep doing it. You, but you have to have something so you can stay on track. You got to get in the habit of doing something every day or otherwise you're going to be all over the place. And you're not going to make any you, you're not going to make any good progress. All right. So that's it. I just wanted to share that with you guys is what you what you can do. You can make a list, a schedule. And I know many of you not doing like multiple languages at the same time. But this is just for me. I have two schedules. OK for finishing polish those are my full-time languages right now so if you have just one language then you just worry about that one language that's that's all you need to do but yeah just make sure you follow something like that and you'll be okay um as far as resources you guys can get the same resources but obviously it's going to be a different language so that's what i'm doing and i just want to share with you guys what i'm doing and give you advice on how you can maintain your activities during the day if you have any questions let me know um otherwise thanks for viewing and um Oh, yeah. <laughs> I always forget about this. I got to mention my my Patreons. I got to mention my Patreons. Hold on. Where my where my thing at? At the end of every video, I got to mention my Patreon. So I have a Patreon page. If you guys aren't familiar with Patreon, it's basically um, it's like a donation um, support thing that you support people that make different types of videos. You got artists. You have people that make music and people like me, and this, which is in this case is language. You know, if you don't know what Patreon is, just go to Google and, and type in Patreon and do some research on that. And so you can learn more about that. But let anyway, let me let me go ahead and read my Patreon followers. So um, this is in, in the exact order that I had got these Patreons. So the first my first Patreon follower is Trevor McVitie. He contributed a dollar. Drew G contributed five dollars. Michael Brigola contributed five dollars. Sakita Martin contributed five dollars. MC Tapera, MCT, he has a YouTube page. You guys will see that in the description area. He contributed $5. Um, Ryan Ford contributed a dollar. And then Dan, uh, Daniel Pendergraph contributed $5. I really do appreciate the support from you guys. I really do. Uh, um, I, I, I love it. And um, you don't have to, you, you don't, it's, it's not something that I'm not telling you, oh, you need to, 
you need to do this so I can do this because regardless if you regardless if you uh, become a Patreon or not, my content is still coming out and I'm not limiting certain things. Everything that you see that I've been putting up on YouTube is going to stay the same. Subtitles and all that. I just put that up. You know, a lot of people recommended me. They say, man, you should get a Patreon page. You should get a donation button or whatever. You know, why not? So I went ahead and I did a little research on Patreon and I got a Patreon page now. If you feel that you, you like my work, you like this content, um, you know, you can donate. You can donate 10 cents, 5 cents. It doesn't matter. You know, any donation uh, counts. But anyway, those are my Patreons, and I, I love you guys, and thanks a lot for your support. I really do. And um, yeah, if you guys have any questions about what I what we talked about here today, just let me know. Send me a, an email or, or you, know, you post a question in the comment section. Otherwise, thanks for viewing, and um, you guys will wish you the best in your languages. Have fun. Continue to be happy. Stay positive. Alrighty, take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.